All right, my beautiful loves, let's see what we have here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. My dog doesn't know if he wants to come or go. Buddy, you can stay in here. Clarity, guidance, love messages. <laughs> Hi, Cookie, you can stay. You want to stay? Come. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Geminis. Clarity, guidance, love messages. What do you want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> okay, Geminis. But he wants to say hi to you guys. So let's go ahead and pick him up. Come here. Oh, boy. So this is Buddy. You say hi to everybody. I'm talking to him. <laughs> okay, so Buddy has made his appearance. Okay, so let's get back to Gemini. Sorry. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, <coughs> Guidance, and Love Messages for my beautiful Geminis, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know today, please, Spirit? Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my beautiful Geminis, please. Tell me about Gemini, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got the Three of Wands and the Two of Cups. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Geminis, please. Ooh, okay. Ten of Swords in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries. Tell me about the beautiful... Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Nine of Cups. Under the deck, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Moon, and we have the Strength card. Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Okay. Gemini, I feel... <coughs> I feel that at some point in time, you manifested something, Gemini. You wanted this beautiful soul tie love relationship, okay? But you got sent somebody that you thought was what you manifested. And instead, this person was a disaster. Okay, could have been a fire sign. Could have been a fire sign. Uh, but this person was noncommittal, maybe abusive, very much in the ego, um very stubborn, just a very nasty, maybe prone to emotional outbursts, not a positive energy, okay? <coughs> not a positive energy. Ten of Swords in the reverse, that's over. We're not going back there, okay? But I do see that with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, I do feel that you're going to be either very happy and stable on your own, or you're going to be finding a relationship that's very committed and emotionally fulfilling, okay? With the Six of Wands and the Moon card here and the Strength card, I feel like the victory <coughs> is going to... I'm so sorry. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. Okay, so the victory here is going to come with you following your intuition even though you don't know what's gonna happen here with the strength card i feel that you know with this king of wands in the reverse you may have really wanted this to happen and we don't read gender here we read energy okay so you may have really wanted this person or wanted this connection but your intuition is telling you that success lies in leaving this alone and leaving it alone. And I feel either you're going to end up, you're going to end up in a relationship that's going to make you very happy, or you're going to just be very happy on your own. Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. I feel that you are going to be meeting somebody here, Gemini, where the passion and communication is amazing. Um, the love is amazing here. I feel like you're going to be head over heels about this person or they're going to be head over heels about you. I feel like healing is going to take place here. Um, emotional fulfillment, stability. <coughs> I see something new and beautiful coming in. I'm sorry, guys. I thought my cough was getting a little bit better, but then with um, 
because I've been doing a lot of readings, so I don't know. Let's see here. Tell me about Gemini, please. Tell me about Gemini, please, okay? The Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Tell me about the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups, uh, Pentacles, okay? So Gemini, again, I feel like you manifested something, and then you met someone, and you jumped a little too quickly, you jumped a little too quickly. Um, you thought that it was your blessing. You thought, oh, this must be the soulmate that I manifested. This must be the solid, stable, amazing person that I manifested. And when you were unhappy, you didn't understand what the heck was going on because you thought this is what you manifested. You thought this was the person that you asked for. Um, and with the five of pentacles, I feel like you left it behind. You left it behind. Um, Tell me about this Ten of Swords in the reverse for Gemini. Ten of Swords in the reverse for Gemini. <coughs> the Hierophant Taurus energy and the Seven of Swords with the Nine of Swords. Okay, I feel that you thought, you stayed in this connection because you thought it was divinely guided, okay? But you're starting to realize now that this is stressing you out. This is a liar. This is a cheater. This is someone taking advantage of you. And I feel like you end it. You end it, Gemini, okay? Um, you know, you stayed thinking that it was a divinely guided situation. Nine of Wands and the King of Wands in the reverse. I feel like you're finally going to stand your ground here and defend yourself against this person that's hurting you big time, okay? Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles for Gemini. We've got the Page of Wands in the reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about the Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups. Yeah, this person made a lot of promises, Gemini. They made a lot of promises that they were going to make you happy, that there was going to be stability. But then again, there was constant lies. You were constantly disappointed by this person. This person got in your head big time, Gemini, okay? <coughs> a lot of mind games a lot of mind games yeah two of wands and the four of wands i feel that gemini you make the decision you make the decision to leave this behind and when you do you're going to find your perfect counterpart tell me about the moon card for gemini the moon card for gemini please page of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy when you walk away from this person you're going to be making the decision to move towards the ten of cups that you manifested okay as soon as you walk away from this this page of cups is going to come in this uh you're going to start talking to somebody that's going to be very sweet on you tell me about the strength card we've got the knight of cups in the reverse so i do feel that this um king of wands in the reverse is going to come back around gemini i feel like they're going to try to apologize they're going to try to take you out they're going to try to do whatever but i feel like you are not even trying to hear it here you're moving on and again with the six of wands that is where victory lies and you know it you feel it <coughs> in your core and in your gut tell me about gemini Look at that. We have, you deserve love. You are lovable. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Oh my gosh. We've got, release your ex. It's time to take back. It's time. The time has come to clear your energy. I'm sorry. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And soulmate. So again, make sure nothing else fell. So again, Gemini, I feel like you got yourself you manifested, you met someone, and you said, wow, you know, I'm starting to catch feelings a little bit for this person. This may be the person, the, the soulmate that I manifested. Release it. Release it. Not the one. You have, you know, you're going to make the decision that you really want to set out to find your soulmate, and you're going to. Yep, you see, flirt, finance, career, and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. So I feel... Gemini, the person that comes forward is going to, the soulmate that comes forward is going to flirt with you and really put the work in, okay? The person that really courts you or really shows interest or really puts the work in to be with you, that is your true soulmate, okay? Make them work for it, Gemini, all right? I love you guys so very much, and I will see you soon. Bye, my loves.